charges that he built the county out of $72,000 during his tenure as supervisor. Charges were filed six months ago by the Attorney General's office after city auditors had noted irregularities stemming back to Edinburgh's time in office. Mr. Edinburgh has maintained his innocence throughout. There was a bizarre new twist today in the Southland's recent series of murders. For more on this story, we go to Perry Jones, live on the scene in the San Fernando Valley. Perry? In a dramatic development in the Picasso killer case, police at 4 p.m. this afternoon stormed the house behind me, belonging to William Marano, a professional taxidermist. A search of the premises failed to turn up the suspect, but a woman was found inside and taken to a nearby trauma center. Now that the serial killer who has terrorized Los Angeles for the past two years has been identified, authorities with the task force, headed by LAPD detective Cole Grayson, are certain that Murano's capture is just a matter of time. Identification of the suspect was the result of the work of special agent Selby Younger, who's part of the psychological profiling section of the FBI, sometimes called the Mind Walker Unit. Through careful analysis of the various elements of each of Murano's crime scenes, she was able to put together a portrait of the probable killer, which led her to William Murano. The police department will not reveal exactly what horrors they found inside the unassuming North Hollywood house, where the taxidermist allegedly tortured and killed his dozens of known victims. But the task at hand is to determine which remains are animal and which are human. This is Perry Jones reporting for America on Scene Live. Honey, Maggie's on the phone. Yeah, Maggie, what's up? Uh-huh. Really? <sighs> OK, thanks. NCIC's background on Murano just came in. Today was the anniversary of his mother's death. Even if he hated her, I bet you he was at whatever cemetery she was buried. <sighs> That's why we missed him. How could I not have known this before we made our decision? We, we couldn't have waited for that report. That girl inside would have bled to death. You gotta stop blaming yourself for everything. I mean, nobody could figure anything out about this guy. You found out what he did, where he lived, who he was, and saved a life. Yeah. You know what? I think we have been up since five. Why don't we get some sleep and start fresh in the morning? Murano was organized and meticulous. He doesn't have a home right now. Do you know what that means to him? He has to hate it. I have to get an angle on where he'd go. All right. If we are going to work tonight, then I've got to get some cigarettes. I thought you were quitting. I am. Just not tonight. Do not move. You understand me clearly? Yes, William. Very good work, Agent Younger. You got so close so quickly. But did you crawl far enough inside my head to anticipate that I'd come looking for you? Beautiful eyes. I had no idea. What potions have I drunk of sirens' tears distilled from limbecks foul as hell within? 
Shakespeare. Yeah. You have a love of the poets. Interesting. <laughs> Preserve the eyes when you stuff the animal. You have to use glass ones. I couldn't afford them when I was a child learning my craft, so my mother would put buttons where the animal's eyes were supposed to be. Your eyes are the color of hers. I have hers in a jar at home, or I didn't. Till tonight! You see, actions have their consequences, Agent Younger. And you should not have interfered in my life. In one afternoon, you took away everything that I ever cared about. Even my mother never hurt me that badly. Is that why you killed her? on the devil when you were in religion class? And did it look like mine? I think the little Catholic girl likes to play in the repulsive mind of killers. Too bad we'll never find out. No! Selby. You hold it on. Hurts. You hold on, Selby. He's gonna be okay. Drop your weapon, move away from the girl. Back off or I cut her. I said drop your weapon, move away from the girl. Fuck you! I'm not gonna tell you again. If I go down, I'm taking this bitch with me. So much for the Spider-Man killer, huh? Yeah. Look, I gotta take off. I'll file a report. Um, what is it, man? You really didn't mean to shoot through that woman to get to the killer, did you? He would have killed her, Manny. She'll be okay. He's dead. He's back.
kind of sick joke is this, Jones? No joke. That's an advanced copy of tomorrow's Times. Look, I'm doing an interview in the morning with Professor Jankowitz, and I'd, I'd love to open with your comment. Yes, that's a no comment. <laughs> We could be near to achieving a medical breakthrough. Basically, we have created a super strong, super resilient immune system to fight cancer. The computer we've implanted constantly analyzes the blood composition. If it senses any cancerous activity, it activates the drug pump, sending a modified cyclotorin A to the site of the tumor. So then he's cured? No, not yet. But as long as he continues to receive regular infusions of the drug, the healing process should continue. But Mr. Murano is a convicted multiple murderer. I acted solely as a scientist, Perry. My decision was based only on medical criteria. Hey, where are you going? When I was doing research for Dead Eyes, my book on William, Lucy, and Murano, Who do you think you are? The question's rhetorical, detective. What are you doing here in this room? I had to see for myself. If you had any idea what he was capable of, he'd be pumping something other than medicine through those veins. He opens his eyes. It's involuntary. He also grunts, sneezes, urinates, and defecates, and occasionally mounts an erection. I'm sure Murano's victims would appreciate your fine sense of humor, doctor. Especially the women he raped and murdered. I would like you to leave now. Yeah, I bet you would. Mr. Jones, now that you're here, why don't you shoot that footage of William that you asked for? Yeah, right. let's bring in the circus. In my office, please. Well, be careful. She's not happy. And where were you this morning? I went to see an old friend. Please, don't fuck with me today. I got one of those female problems, and I'm liable to kick your ass just because I'm cranky. I had to see for myself, Maggie. Cole, you need to put this behind you. Cole, wait. We are just cops. We don't make policy decisions. And we don't have anything to do with Morano anymore. You have to move on. You mean like Selby's moved on? Is that what you're suggesting? No, you know what I mean, Cole. No, I'm sure she's very fulfilled doing clerk work for the FBI. Well, at least she's not making unauthorized trips into private research facilities. Now, please, just do your job. Or I'm going to tie your little dick in a big knot and yank. You coming up to the cabin this weekend with me and John? Oh, you just want to live in babysitter to take care of your manic kids. Maybe next time. Thanks. And every other night, he gets a full MRI. OK, park him downstairs. I'll take care of him from there. It's hard to believe this guy killed all those women. Read that book. 
you'll believe. All right, I'll see you later. All right. Did you decide about Tahoe yet? Jack. Oh, wait, don't say it. I'm sweet and a great guy and a good friend, but you don't want to spend the weekend with me. I'm sorry. I'll see you at work tomorrow, okay? Good night, Toby. Okay, so you're right. Let's just find him. Grayson. You tracing? Recording? All right, patch him through. It's Murano. We called the station. I grunt, I sneeze, I urinate, and I can also leave the premises. What? Nothing to say. Yeah, much better shot than I was two years ago. <laughs> Does Selby know yet? She's out of the mind walking business, Morano. It's just you and me. No, 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 no. I'm calling the dance. And I demand her as your partner. Oh, you demand? Give her this message. Our roads are intertwined like legs, tangled, braided across the back of the earth. This is going to be fun, Cole, don't you think? You better hope I don't find you first. Oh, do not worry. You will not. We'll see about that, Murano. Anything? Yeah, all right, thanks. No trace. Hi there. What are you doing here, Cole? He's out. What do you mean, he's out? You have to mind walk him again. This excerpt he chose is from a poem by T.L. Deglet about the inevitability of destiny. Specifically, how Lucian controls our destinies. But he's wrong. I won't be involved. Look, I know how you feel, but... How could you possibly know how or what I feel? Well, then why don't you tell me? Because I've been waiting for two years. I have to get ready for work. You don't have a choice, Selby. He is not going to let you walk away from this. Don't you understand that? I don't mind walk anymore. 
You knew that coming in. Why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing anything to you. Murano is out there. You know him better than anyone else. He has an agenda. You're part of it. You're a cop. Act like one. Fuck you. I paid my dues. You find somebody else. Maybe I will. But he won't, Selby. He won't. I think the nice little Catholic girl likes to play in the repulsive mind of killers. Serial murderers are the worst to track. They're loners, they kill at random with no specific motives. None of their victims can be connected to each other. And it's almost impossible to get a solid lead unless they slip up. Give them some background on them, Cole. Why don't I let the person who profiled him first tell you? This is Special Agent Selby Younger. start. William Lucian Murano fits some of the standard labels. He's a paranoid schizophrenic with a messianic complex. Functionally delusional, obviously psychopathic. There really is no exact definition for all that he is. Thank you, sister. Thank you so much. His mother disciplined him by hitting him repeatedly with a wooden stake. It's a miracle he survived his childhood. He eventually killed her. One of his favorite methods to introduce himself was to get a yearbook and pretend he was an old classmate or a faculty member or on the staff somehow. He's literate, he likes dark, eclectic poetry, very bright, even funny and charming. You must have been a beautiful baby, Selby. If you met him in a bar, you'd probably like him. Until he cut you up into pieces. All right. Let's get this case top priority. We'll meet back here at uh, 2 p.m. Let's find this maniac. Let's find him quick. Now we begin. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. I hate even the smell of this place. But I won't let him run my life. We'll get him. Yes, we will. I'm not in this to execute Murano, Cole. I'm not asking you to. Because you will? Killing him will not resolve anything. <sighs> Maybe this is a mistake. Maybe you better decide that right now, one way or the other. Because it's only going to get worse. Cole, one of the nurses who worked the night shift at the Institute isn't answering her phone. The husband also works there. He never showed up at his office this morning. Uh, Grayson. Okay, Sergeant. Take it when you're ready.
Excuse me. No, I think I know you. No, I don't think so. No, 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 from St. Adrian's. Yeah? I'm John Wills. Father Wills? I used to be uh, one of the uh, boys' advisors over there. I remember you because you went to the academic state finals. Marianne uh, Capriato. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, I, I still don't remember who you are. Yeah. Well, I look a little different without the collar and everything. I'm not a priest anymore. And, uh... Oh. That's yeah, okay. It's always a shock to everyone. You know, you were pretty then, you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to be moving in here next week. So we'll be neighbors. That's right. That's a nice thought, isn't it? Let me give you a hand with that. I got it. I can get that. Too. All right. You know, now that we're talking, you do seem a little bit familiar. Are you on television or something? Well, in a way. Do you stay in touch with any of the kids, like uh, Tim Baker or Selby Younger? Got sloppy making breakfast, huh? have to figure it out. No, that's not what I mean. Why is he leaving any clues? That's not William Morano. Well, neither is leaving anyone alive. He didn't kill him for a reason. Any ideas? Not yet. Well, if he's not random anymore, it'll be easy to find. No. No, he knows that too, Cole. He's not going to make this easy. I have to stop at my house. What for? To pick up my old case files. You kept them? Yes, I kept them, and it's a good thing I did, it seems. I have to go back inside his head. Come on. This one? Yeah, that's ready. Hello? Hello, darling. Oh, hi, Nana. How are you today? I'm fine. Are you coming to dinner Thursday? Absolutely. It's been on my calendar for weeks. Good. Nana, I have another call coming in. I'll call you later, okay? Oh, bye, sweetie. Hello? You never came to visit me. Didn't you miss playing in the dirt? These games are beneath you, William. Beneath you? Oh, that's good. Very good beneath you. Inflate my ego and then call me William like my mother did. And then scold me in order to gain a subliminal advantage. It's crude, but it's not bad for being out of the loop for two years. Why didn't you kill that woman and her child today? That's not like you, Lucian. Simply because she was not part of the plan. And as for the boyfriend, he got in my way. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I don't know. Life, life's funny, don't you think? Well, you don't have that much life left. You know that. Well, I wouldn't count on that. You see, I can't be killed. God knows everyone has tried ever since I was a child, but I've risen again. Well, many will die, and I shall live forever. Why are you telling me this? Because that is the plan. And we cannot understand. 
understand or accept certain things until we embrace them with our emotions, with our anger and with our fear, and with our hatred, and most of all, with our despair, sad as that may be. So you come on inside my head, little Miss Selby, younger, and eventually you'll understand what's in there for you. And until then, listen closely. told me that he was a detective and that he was looking for a dangerous criminal who pretends to be a cop. He said this was a picture of the killer. Nice photo, Cole. Yeah, right. Murano's words are consistent with his messianic delusions, demanding total subservience from anyone he encounters. He obviously wants to toy with me before killing me again at a moment of his choosing. I wonder what she was thinking when she took that picture for her yearbook. He won't get that close to you this time. I promise. I understand the risk here. I'm not looking for any guarantees. What are you looking for? Just to complete this job. Oh. Huh. Go back to your boring desk? Sweet, thank you. What do you expect? I mean, for two years, you, you haven't returned my calls, you don't answer my letters. Do you think maybe I have reasons not to want to deal with this? What about us, Selby? You were not the only victim that night. He took away a part of me, too. You know, I, I like to come to terms with this. I, I really would. But you won't let me because you won't talk to me about it. Selby, it's Jack on line one. Selby Younger. The nurse's car was found abandoned on Wilshire. Forensics will go through and get you. Yeah, I was going to call you. Anything else? Um, yeah. Lisa has a theory about the eggs. Hold on a second, Jack. Well, what if the eggs represent uh, the 12 apostles? He's going to kill 10 more before he comes out to sell me and takes her as the 12th apostle. Judas, I want to betray Jesus. I don't think the number is relevant. He left the nurse and the girl alive, yet he broke an egg. No, I can't. Not tonight. I'll call you later. Yep. Okay. Bye. Look, um, you have to stay at my house until we uh, find Murano. You can have the bed. I'll sleep on the sofa. You can't go back home, and this makes the most sense. When's the last time you changed your sheets? Uh, you have to think about it. It's been too long. We'll buy new ones. Marty, I've been up since this thing broke at 3 a.m. Nothing's happening. Get it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm hearing you in my dreams, Marty. Eat me. You insist. William. William, listen to me, William. It doesn't... I can't have you running away, Perry. So I've just cut your Achilles tendon a little. You'll be fine. When did you quit smoking? Two years ago. 
I'll be in the other room if you need me. Good night. Cole? <clears throat> you should know that what happened between us wasn't your fault. Murano said some things that night that I never told you about. He implied that I was good at my job because something in me was attracted to what he is. That I enjoyed Exploring the dark side. Playing with the devil. Is that true? Um, I think maybe he was right. I didn't want to put a face on the devil. And you blame yourself for that? Guilt isn't about intellect. It's about emotions. And emotions have a logic we don't understand. I quit the profiling unit because... I was just plain scared to death of running into someone like him again. I quit us. Because I was afraid of facing what's inside me. Being with you would have made me do that. I'm sorry if I hurt you. What hurt was I was totally helpless to do anything about your pain. You wouldn't let me. Well. I just put myself in a box and closed the lid. I couldn't let you in. <laughs> you look a whole lot younger on TV, Perry. kind of reversed roles here, haven't we? <laughs> you know, you probably don't remember the day that you confided to me that you had access to the classified FBI database. You said it to impress me, and of course, I was impressed. That's why I'm here. Apart from the good company, of course. A little refreshment and maybe a new set of clothes. And now your computer's going to tell me every little thing that I do not know about Miss Selby Younger. But first... I need the password. Yeah! like walking in the dark and waiting for someone to jump out at you. I didn't know big bad wolves like you worried about that stuff. Come on, let's go. You know that picture of you Murano gave that woman? It came from Joan's book. Maybe we should talk to somebody who's actually spent time with Murano recently. Jones? Yeah. Call and arrange it, Manny. Sleep well. How's your ankle? 
You know, we got so close during those months of interviews, I was truly enriched by the experience. Now, I know that you're probably thinking that it wasn't such a good idea to have spent so much time with me, right? Nice roll. We have to write a new ending to your book. Beautiful, bittersweet ending. A never-ending ending. So if you're a good boy, I'm gonna leave your fingers attached to your hands so you can do just that. William. Shush, 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 shush. I talk. You listen. You want some? I'm a serial killer, get it? Yeah, it's good. No. More for me. Well, what makes you so sure? My experience. Just a feeling. Lisa, it could be 12 hours, the 12 months of the year. Uh, 12 days of Christmas, Einstein. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Jones' office says he works uh, at his home uh, mornings. You have his home address? Yeah. yeah I, I... Okay, Lisa. Focus on the meanings, not the numbers. Could be sleeping eggs, dead eggs, I don't know. Just check all the cross references for me. Okay, we'll do. Are we gone? Yeah. Let's go uh, see Mr. Jones. <gasps> Sorry, guys. Good move, Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. Should I check the reference? I don't think his mother was exactly the type to read him nursery rhymes. There's something familiar. I don't know what it is. It's not coming to me. Just work on it, okay? Come on. I think I'll be leaving soon. It's been nice, but... Fish and house guests begin to stink quickly. Am I right? Okay. I've taken care of the computer and the camera equipment. I think I put the cap back on the toothpaste. I think I'm all done here. Except for one final thing. If you kill me, I won't be able to write the new ending. Oh, I know. No, I, I'm not going to kill you. I told you that. <laughs> but I did specifically ask you not to mention Mother in that TV program. Did I not? You lack judgment, Perry. You don't think when you get in front of a camera. When you write, you're able to edit yourself. So, we are going to concentrate solely from now on on print journalism. You see, actions have consequences. No, no. No, no! no! I can't believe I'm actually coming to see this guy. Jones, it's Cole Grayson. I need to talk to you. manager. Yeah, hi. Uh, have you seen Perry Jones today? No. Did he come home last night? Yeah, my, my unit's right below his. I mean, I thought he was drunk the way he was pounding all over the floor there. And you never saw him leave? Car's still in the garage. Can the keys to his place? Man, take his gentleman down. Yeah, let's go. Back up. Right. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. 
longer. I need an ambulance immediately at 9.29 Doheny. Do you get license plate number? No. All right, let's go inside. Anything? He wiped the hard disk. It's clean. So we're not gonna know what he was up to until we talk to Jones. Not for a while, he won't. He's still in surgery. Morano severed his vocal cords. No more TV career. Yeah. Well, keep me posted, would you? What are you doing here? I heard the police report. I was worried about you. I'm okay. You shouldn't be here. So you told me you weren't going to do this anymore. It's him, isn't it? That's why you're getting involved. Him who? Him who. Cole? No, this is something I need to do. It has nothing to do with him. It has nothing to do with you. I appreciate you caring, but this is really not the right time. We gotta go. Okay, I'll call. This is Jack Blunt. He works with us in data processing. Hello. Selby. I'll call you later. Don't you think she's done enough? I think she can decide that for herself. Well, maybe she can't. Maybe she's just gonna keep on going, no matter what Why it costs. Why don't you just relax, all right? And stay out of the way. It's been a real lousy day, and it's not getting any better. Let's go. What's up with this guy, Jack? He's a good friend who made working in data processing bearable. I knew you hated that job. Excuse me. Griff? You remember Selby Younger? What do we got? Landlady found her. Look at this. The factory's old tricks. Nice, huh? Yeah. Jesus. my high school. St. Adrian. How would you know that? Joan's book. There's background chapters on you both. I didn't read it. What's her name? Uh, Mary Ann Capriato. She was in my graduating class. on the pace of your heart quickens as time. My face is your mirror, I hold it to you. Your breath is my breath, your step is my step. Your death is my death. Great. He doesn't kill at random anymore. He's found a group of people with a common thread, me. Can I use your phone? Yeah, who is it? My grandmother. I'll tell her we'll be sending a patrol call by just to sit outside just in case, OK? Hello? Nana, are you OK? I'm fine. You're just fine. The reason I called is that someone you know is visiting. Who? An old teacher of yours. He's new at the parish, and he wanted to see you and meet the family. But I explained that it's just you and Nana. Listen to me. I want... Cole. Yeah? He's at my grandmother's. What's your address? Selby, what's your address? I can't remember. 41342 Tannenbaum. Fanny, get a SWAT team there. Hurry! Let's go. Team, take your position. What 
What do we got? We got zero activity. We should go in. All right, go for it. Patient secured. You can forget the fingerprints. We already know who it is. Excuse me, Captain. VCR is all hooked up. Okay. Go get him. How is she? She says she's okay. She's stubborn. She won't go to the hospital. Who does that remind you of? We're ready downstairs. Oh, hello, kids. Welcome to Serial Killer Theater. Today's story is ripped from the pages of true life events. In the beginning, there was this man who was very, very happy, vivisecting animals, the random women who wandered across his path. Then the busybody police got involved and decided he should not be happy anymore. So when he suddenly realized how fleeting life can be and how easily the rules can change, he changed too. He decided to set new priorities for his life and he dedicated himself to a new path. Now, this is where the story gets just a little complicated because we don't have time in this episode to finish it. But what we want to say is this. I could have decorated the house with her body parts and planted her head in the garden. So, but I did not this time because I know how much she means to you. And I didn't want to push you too far, too fast. Come on! You want me? Come and get me! What's it all mean? Did I find your grandmother easily enough? Oh, did you find the classmate yet? Pretty, pretty eyes. This is just beginning, Selby. But the time is coming when you will be ready to accept your destiny willingly. I will send you a message soon, and you will come to me. Because if you do not, it will never stop. Bye for now. Kids! Hello, Jack. Going home or going to hell? <laughs> Let me give you a ride home. I can get you back here quickly if anything happens. No, I want to stay. I have to wait till sister gets in. Go. I know you have work to do. You sure you're going to be all right? Call. I'm not a child. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, it's, it's all right. 
You don't go anywhere without the uniforms, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. I'll see you later. How is he? Uh, he's critical. Salvi? Better than I'd be if some maniac was going after the people I cared about. Did you win that slug through ballistics? Yeah, for all the good that'll do. Oh, uh, Selby's grandmother's on the way to Florida. The Daytona police will meet her at the other end. Good. Uh, let's go to work, partner. Jenny Woods. Are you a criminal? No, I... Oh, he's a friend of mine. Although that's not such a good thing these days. I was sick, but got better and didn't die. My mom's picking me up today. Can I read you a story? Sure. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a crap, and the dish ran away with the spoon. You read very well. <laughs> Your turn. My turn. Okay. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack. Jenny, your mother's here. Bye. Bye. Miss Younger? I'm sorry. His injuries were just too extensive. You get the track report on those credit cards Marno stolen? This is raw data. Why don't we have this mapped out yet? When was I supposed to do that? It just arrived. How about doing it right now? The gun Marano used is a 9mm macro. It's the latest hot import from Russia. Must have got it from Jones' apartment. Wait a minute. Did Desna use a 9x18 round? Come on, Manny. Get this out to everybody who sells it. Do I have to do everything around here? Oh, man, you got to ease up. Now, fuck that, Manny. We don't have one solid lead on this guy. Let's get started. The FBI is committing additional field agents. You'll be bringing them up to speed in tomorrow morning session. Great. Yeah, they can help check the gun shops in the area. Selby asked me to check the Humpty Dumpty reference, and I came up with a song title, three cartoons, and a movie made in the 1930s. That's it. I mean, besides the obvious subtext involving the sin of pride and the shattering of the ego image in the fall. If you don't, it will never stop. What do you think, Selby? It will never stop. Anything there to work with? I'm sorry, what? What Lisa was saying. I'm sorry, what, um, would you excuse me a minute? I think the nice little Catholic girl likes to play in the repulsive mind of killers. What did I do? What did I do that was so wrong? You want a beer or something? No, thanks. Selby. Yeah. 
There's no easy way for me to say this. I'm taking you off this case. No, you're not. You are not. Not after what I've been through. You absolutely are not. Honey, we don't even know what this maniac wants yet except to kill everybody you know. And just maybe, with you off this case, his focus will change. Yeah, right. That'll certainly confuse the hell out of him. Come on. I can't protect everyone. I know that. Selby, you're not in a good place for this. A friend of mine just died. Give me a break. That's what I'm trying to do. Until you can focus in. Who are you to make judgments like that about me? You worry about what's in your head, I'll worry about what's in mine. Look, I made a mistake, all right? I wanted Murano so badly that I never considered what it might do to you. Well, unfortunately, it's already gone way past that point. But I'm handling it. I'll be in the bedroom working. We need to talk about this. No, we don't. You're not taking me off the case. You can't. You're not my boss. What are you trying to tell me, William? How do you rationalize the cancer? Do you really think you're God because you rose from the dead in the hospital? Is that your breath is my breath. Your step is my step. Your death is my death. Grayson. It's me. Yeah, hey man, what's up? Uh, Selby there. We got a problem. No. She's in the other room. What is it? Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I, I got you. Okay. I see. I don't know. Look, who is this girl he took? Her name's Jenny Woods. Jenny Woods? She's a little girl. Could be she met Selby at the hospital. <sighs> The hospital. But there's another problem. The girl's a severe asthmatic. Without her inhaler, she could die. Poor thing's probably dead already. Did he leave a note or anything? Yeah, here it is. Selby. Number one with a bullet. Do you recall? The oldies but goodies keep us warm in the fall of our years. Keep the date. Time to come. Under high moon, not high sun. Is that it? Yeah. You make anything of that? I don't know. I mean, it could mean, it could mean anything. It's number one with the bullet, do you recall? It's, it's, it's a radio thing, isn't it? don't you think? Well, why don't you come over? We'll work on it. I'll be over in a few minutes. No, I, I don't want to wake her up. She's exhausted. I gotta let her sleep. We'll look at it when you get here. But you have to wake her up. We gotta know what this note means. All right, I'll wake her up. She's gone. She's gone. Yeah, Where? Yeah, Why? Give me the note. All right, uh, under high moon. That that's midnight. Right. All right. No, no, number one with the bullet. Do you recall? Number, number one. Number one. Number one. Ronald's first victim. A Jane Doe drifter, he shot her in the head, gripped the part. Give me your keys. Here. You talk to those guys up front, you see if they saw anything. Right. You're late. I want to see Jenny. Put the gun down if you want to see her. Where is she? 
You play horrible games now. You still don't understand. Even though you're here. I understand. I understand you wanted me emotionally shattered. Yes. Vulnerable. That's correct. So I'd come here willingly and without backup. Yes. Well, I'm here. You got it? OK? Here you go. Look. You got me for the girl. You see, that's only half of it, Selby. But your coming here makes me feel that you're ready to hear the rest. When Jones did research for his book, he came upon an incident that happened to you in school. He told me about it during our interviews. The nuns were pretty mad at you, weren't they? Now you know. Don't you? Now you're gonna come with me. Get in the car. open and I scream like a lobster tipped into boiling water. I'm an open jar deep for the eggs you hoard. Like rotten white pearls crying, mother, mother, mother. Forget the rest of it. poem called Hump Me, Dump Me by Alison Bennis. She was a feminist poet, raised in a strict Catholic family, and I, I really identified with her when I was in school. The poem is about a woman who was forced by her lover bear a child so he can have a legacy. I recited it at an assembly and got kicked out of school for a week. Murano's dying. But he thinks he's a god. Gods don't die. The eggs in the garden, they weren't dead. They were sleeping. Dormant. Broken eggs. Humpty Dumpty. 
Haunt me. Doubt me. He wants a child to carry on his legacy, and he wants me to bear it. He knew I'd never do it willingly, so he's been breaking me down into accepting it. It worked. I went to him once. Wait, 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 what are you saying? That you have his child? Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. But what next? How do we stop him? How do I fight him? It won't stop. What if another child dies because of me? No. People are not dying because of you. They are dying because of him. Now you stop letting him set the rules. If you run away again like last time, Selby, you'll never come back. Oh, you asshole. It's not your fingers he cut. It's not your friends he's killing. It's not your mind he's fucking with. by now. <sighs> what time is it? It's almost five. Did you get some sleep? A little. I had a dream about Humpty Dumpty, Jack B. Nimble, and the Big Bad Wolf. They're all there with Morano. Good afternoon. We'll give you a progress report, but as usual, we won't be able to comment on specifics about the investigation. Is it true that Agent Younger is being taken off the case? Call it a reassignment. What exactly caused Jenny Wood's death? She had a severe asthma attack and suffocated due to the tape on her mouth. Murano is being charged with the murder. Any progress on Murano's whereabouts? Not yet. A source early this morning told us that Agent Younger attempted suicide after the discovery of the little girl's body. And where do you guys come up with this stuff? No, that is not true. So you're saying she didn't try to kill herself? Which word didn't you understand, Susan? No, she did not. <laughs> The funeral for the FBI agent who took her own life was held today in a North Hollywood church. Agent Younger was a well-liked and well-respected member of the law enforcement community. The private service was attended by friends, co-workers, and police officials. Not in attendance was Miss Younger's grandmother, who had fallen ill in Florida and was too sick to attend.
Detective Grayson, can you comment on me? My face, I've got no comment. But is it true that the investigation... statements? Yeah, I do. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna make you pay for every bit of pain you caused her, Lucian. You hear me? From now on, it's just you and me. So let's dance. Detective, what about the findings of the... Pretty convincing, huh? Hope so. Hey. How about a little fake? Grace. Yeah, hey, Manny, what's up? All's well, quiet, huh? Anything else? Well, we just have to keep on going this way until he does. Jankowitz is right. He may not last that much longer anyway. Tell the press I'll make an appearance around 8 o'clock. Yeah, all right, amigo. I'll talk to you later. What are you doing? Going over Murano's old medical files. Again? We might have missed something. The only thing we missed is his funeral. With any luck, we'll get to that soon enough. Grayson, the lead investigator for the ongoing Murano case, was to make a statement at 8 p.m. However, we've now been told there's a possibility the press conference will be postponed until tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, there has been much speculation about exactly... My, 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 my. Look at you. Fit as a fiddle. You have nine lives. Just like me. One more thing we share. You know we were destined for this moment, Sophie. Many two people who understand each other the way you and I do belong together. I may understand you. I am not like you. No, no. You are like me. Everybody is in some way. You know, when our paths crossed two years ago, they did so for a reason. When I lay in that hospital bed, I saw very clearly what that reason was as I approached my final passage. Why don't you come to me, Selby? Why don't you give in 
to that part of you inside. that frightens and fascinates you so, so much. Inamorati fin dall'antichità. Mates from antiquity, you and I. There is nothing in me that wants you. It would be a shame not to have arms to hold or eyes to see, Selby. But then again, you don't need all your body parts to bear a child, do you? You know, I cannot believe you thought that stupid suicide trick was going to work. Well, I admit you had me fooled for 30 seconds. Perhaps I've given you too much credit for your insight into me. You really should have known I'd never believe it. Actually, she did. Welcome to Grandma's house, Little Red Riding Hood. I'm the big bad wolf. And I'm gonna blow your sick head off. Cole, don't. It's over, William. You didn't come here to shoot me. Put the gun down. <laughs> you got me. Good work, guys. And I'm gonna put this gun down. But before I do, remember, Cole, if you execute me, she'll never love you. So you think before you shoot, cowboy. And this isn't the end of it either. Because they'll send me back to that hospital and they'll give me more miracle drugs. And they'll send me out on some freak tour. And they'll screw up the security like they always do. And I'll be back. Well, maybe he'll come visit me this time. That'd be cool, wouldn't it, Cole? So I surrender. But now. No. This will never happen again. It is your destiny, Selby. And I will find you again. And we'll pick it up. Right where we left off! Finding me may not be the problem. Having a child by me will be. <laughs> Why? You're trying to tell me something. Trying to tell me you're sterile? No. I'm not. You are. I don't think so. It's in a test result I was reading from Jankowitz. All your little seeds are dead, William. It's a side effect from the radiotropic drugs in your system. There was never a chance of you having a child. You see, actions have consequences. You know that. You chose an experimental treatment. Without the drugs, you die. With the drugs, you can never have a child. So it is truly over, William. You look in my eyes, tell me if I'm lying.
He's sterile? No. I made it up. He's not the only one who can play with people's minds. Does that make me like him? He had a choice, Selby. Yes. Yes, he did. Okay, Manny, it's over.